right guys, just making some split adjustments here. Not very different from how it was before, I've literally just changed the placement of where the shoulders is and kind of where the abs are just so that I can be a bit more strict with abs because I really want to grow my abs a little bit more before I start to cut, whether that be next year or it be a tiny mini cut this year. I just want to make sure that my split's on point and I'm growing everything uh, to the best I can and as frequent as I can. So let me show you guys. So if you remember before, it was chest, shoulders, triceps, so that one has not changed. Uh, other than the fact that abs used to be on chest day. So basically, on <coughs> these are my push days here, chest, pull days there, back, and then legs, and then I got rest on Sunday. Now before, it looked different because on each of my push days I had abs, but I didn't have shoulders. I'd have shoulders on the first day, and I'd just have triceps on the second day. Pretty weird, right? I don't know why I really did that. I initially thought that would be really good because having shoulders on a pull day and a push day, it would allow me to concentrate on both push and pull movements for my shoulders rather than getting into the kind of habit and the routine of doing just dumbbell press and lateral raise and not really switching it up and trying other exercises that might work better for me. So I've made these changes so that it's easier to remember as well. So if I'm going to the gym in a rush and I think, oh my god, what day is it? I don't have to like panic and try and figure out what it is. I can just remember chest, shoulders, triceps, back, biceps, abs, legs, and then it goes the same again, sorry I sound really ill right now <laughs> and kind of a side note from that notice my strength slowly going up very slowly emphasising slowly but it's going up I can actually get more than 3 reps of 80 now on bench impressive it's, it's impressive for me so I've got to keep that strength going so on the agenda for today it's Saturday morning just got about half 10 I have just woken up I plan to go to the gym around lunchtime, so about 12. Preferably the earlier the better, so hopefully 12. But I'm actually going to skip breakfast because I want to try some fasted cardio because last night I was a very bad boy and I had <laughs> three pizzas. But let me show you the size of the pizzas because when I ordered them I knew they'd be small but they actually turned out to be smaller than small. They were smaller than I thought it would be, so <laughs> I don't feel too guilty from it. And I think it actually fits my macros anyway, because when I bought them, I was quite concerned about whether I'd be overdoing my fat a lot and, and I'd feel like shit in the morning, both physically and mentally, which physically, I guess you could say that. So here's the pizzas I got. You guys missed out a pepperoni, spicy barbecue, and chicken sizzler. Oh, was nice. Haven't finished it all, I was so tempted to have some of it for breakfast, but... I figured it's better off if I just give it to someone else, maybe even get rid of it, get rid of the evidence. <laughs> but yeah, these are the pizza that I had. See, they're really not that big. This is two pepperoni slices there and one pepper, uh, one barbecue slice. That, like, barbecue? No, that's the chicken sizzler slice there. But it's literally just like the size of this box, so it's like a naan bread size. <laughs> and I've only had about half of the three that I've got, so... I didn't actually necessarily go over my macros, but lately I feel like my bulking has turned into me having a bit of a protruding belly. So I'm going to try and start doing cardio, even though I'm bulking, a little bit more often. Not only to improve my cardiovascular system and help to help to keep my blood flow good in order to improve the bulk actually. So cardio is sometimes good on a bulk. It will help the process of metabolism, the blood flow to the muscles when you're working out. But I'm doing it also because I want to make sure that I'm not getting a massive belly gut, which hopefully will work. But what I'm going to have to do, which I haven't done before, well, I've tried a little bit, but haven't used them to their proper use, is use some BCAAs I bought. I think these might be my brothers, actually. He's not here, and he gave me permission to use them, so... <laughs> So yeah, you're gonna be using some of this stuff. Just one serving before I go. And I'll probably drink it throughout my cardio as well with the water, I'll mix it in. And that should help prevent muscle loss. Not that there'd be much in the way of muscle loss in like 20 minutes, 30 minutes of doing cardio, but you know, we wanna preserve that muscle as best we can. We don't wanna get rid of that, do we? All, this, all the stuff we worked for, can't do this. 
So yeah, that's what's happening, and I'll check in with you guys later. Wish me luck with cardio. Right guys, that hill is officially over. I went in there uh, straight away, went on a treadmill, did 20 minutes overall. Um, I started off just doing walking, I'm not really used to cardio to be honest. As you can see, I'm really sweaty as well, so that's disgusting. But <laughs> proves that it worked, and when I was on the treadmill sweating, I felt like it was burning away that fat, even just a little bit. And on my way out of the gym, I actually felt kind of slimmer and I felt like the bloated belly kind of gone back down to being flat. So right now I'm trying to decide whether I should do a mini cut, do fasted cardio a bit more often to improve my cardiovascular system, but also maybe keep my fat at a minimum, especially on days when I kind of go over with cheat meals and stuff like that. You can't help but sometimes fancy a takeaway, especially if you're surrounded by people that aren't, you know, fitness freaks that, you know, might tempt you to, to some chocolate or a barbecue with loads of, like, fatty stuff. But you should enjoy your food, you shouldn't just eat really clean stuff and absolutely hate your diet, so... Pizza, I'm a great lover of pizza and I assume I will, I expect I will have another one soon. Not really soon, like tomorrow night or anything like that, but maybe once a week eating something a little bit kind of devilish, I guess. But yeah, done with that. Probably gonna wrap up this video now. Just wanted to kind of give you an insight on how I'm controlling my diet and how I'm gonna kind of control my body at the moment, so probably will do cardio a bit more often like that. Only fasted, I'm not gonna do cardio uh, whilst I've got loads of carbs and protein in my system because the calories will just be taken from that and it'll be so pointless because if I'm gonna be on a surplus anyway, I won't be able to uh, actually lose fat. So doing it this way, because I've got nothing in my system and I'm fasted, it feels like hell because you've got nothing in your body so it's like empty and you feel a bit sick because it's just water sloshing around in there, a bit of BCAAs. <laughs> but it proves effective, so recommend it if you wanna lose a little bit of fat, but still bulk. I'm kind of testing it now, don't take my word for it, it's definitely gonna work, but I believe that it will kind of get rid of that bloated belly, that bloated feeling, that excess fat. It won't be able to like strip you down, make you shredded, it honestly won't, because you need to be in a deficit for that to happen, but all I'm trying to get to happen right now is to just feel slimmer, but still bulk. So it's absolutely baking in my car right now with this leather seats. My camera actually feels really hot as well, Jesus. I really should not have put it by the window there. <laughs> I'm gonna go home, have some food, clean up, because I feel really sticky and gross right now. Have some food, nice clean meal, no pizza, and yeah. That's it for today, quick vlog. See you guys in the next one.